Randolph Hall. It's iconic, and everything has grown out from that central point. All our focus groups that we did, staff, students, faculty, and alumni, everybody said Randolph Hall, Randolph Hall, Randolph Hall. So it has to reduce really well. That when you see it on something as small as a lapel pin, that it is readable and you can tell what it is. It also will embroider it really well. It has to work in one color. We did a bunch of sketches and ideas and, and put tons of stuff out there and then focusing on the one that everybody talked about, Randolph Hall, and then doing a unique version of Randolph Hall that is simple and clean and strong and gives you the feeling that you get when you step into that outside space. What really made a difference to me was when Gil Schuler took the uh, actual picture of Randolph Hall. He superimposed the new logo on top of it. You'll see little details like something to represent the oak trees and uh, the walkway going across the cistern and the steps uh, coming down from it. At the same time, we reworked the word mark. We just changed the font. Caslon is what was used as the copy, as the text for the Declaration of Independence. And there were three College of Charleston founders that signed the Declaration of Independence. So we felt like that was a great tie-in, a subtle change, but a stronger font, and it works great with this mark. The entire alumni nation will uh, be as enthusiastic about it as we are.